the mists rising off the river. What is today's exciting launch event? Well, today we're launching Gales Hill Nature Reserve as the first nature reserve in Ireland for many, many things. Sorry, in Kilkenny for many years. Our fifth nature reserve, beautiful piece of semi natural grasslands up around near Culler Hill in Kilkenny. And uh, I'm delighted to be announcing it. And it was a farm that has been kept as a farm. Mm. It's being kept as a farm, and you're going to do a lot of conservation grazing. Yeah, thankfully the landowners have already been doing conservation grazing, and they've managed it in a way that's low impact, no intensity, no fertilizer. So this is an amazing site, beautiful uh, orchid, rich grasslands, uh, marshall cherry butterflies. Just the most beautiful site. And as somebody said here today, it's like stepping back in time before intensive agriculture. That's fantastic news. That's Great. brilliant news. Great. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> hey, girls. No. Java, leave it. Java, leave it. Hey, girls. You guys are bold. And I can hear voices over in the Great Oak. The tree climbers are there practicing for competitions. So I come from the minister launching a new wildlife park to tree climbers practicing for competitions. Hey girls. Not a breath in the air. Very still. You can just hear their voices carrying. So I'll go over and say hello. <laughs> so, you're heading to where? Um, Savannah, Georgia. Savannah, Georgia? Yeah. To do the? World Championships. World. In tree climbing? World yeah. Tree Climbing Championships, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Excellent. And were you doing uh, European Championships in Germany or working? Uh, yeah, I had the Europeans in um, Croatia. In Croatia. And how did you do? Uh, came fifth. Came fifth out of a field of? How many Adams? Uh, 36. Uh, no, it was less actually. I think. Uh, There's 20. Three or something, was it? 24 women. Yeah, yeah 24 women. 24 yeah. women and you came fifth. I think so. I think there's 24. I can't really remember. Sure, and what were the European champion women that beat you? What countries? Uh, so the English girl, Jo, is the world champion. She, uh, yeah, Jo Hedger, she, she's the world champion and the European champion, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, so she's going, she's. She placed fourth. Yeah. She placed fourth? Who did? Joe. Where? In the prelims, in the Euros. Oh yeah, in the prelims, yeah, in yeah, the prelims. yeah. In the prelims. And uh, so, Joe just made it into the into the running for the Masters. Oh wow! Uh, and she got into the into the final on the Sunday, and she won. The English woman. Yeah. yeah. So she's the European champion now. 
And so you're going to be meeting up with her in uh, Georgia. Yeah, yeah. So we're on the same team. So it's the UK and Ireland team. Really? Yeah, yeah. So we've Nick Curran as well. So there's two girls and one one uh, guy. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Well, I'm glad our great oak tree is uh, <laughs> taking part as a training session. <laughs> so you're, as they say, you're ringing bells up there. Oh, you're only just setting up, so you haven't been here that long. Well, it takes a while to set up, so. <laughs> and then you have to swing about the tree. Yeah. So yeah. you've got tape rather than bells. Yeah, tape. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so you have to swing across and hit tape or climb to it or yeah, something. Yeah, you just kind of swing out. You line your in. And you have to shout stand here. And you just hit it with your circuit. Ah. Five, five bells, so. Five bells you have to hit from one climb. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> okay, well, it's kind of strange going from the minister launching a new wildlife park in Kilkenny <laughs> to you guys climbing trees and ringing bells <laughs> in a training session for a competition at the World Championships. And Adam, you didn't make it, huh? No, 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 I don't compete. You don't do the competitions. No, I don't do the competitions. I'll leave that up to Sarah. She's better than me anyway. The Sarah. She organises the Irish comp. Ah, well, that's good enough. But then that makes it an inside job, doesn't it? Uh, not really, no. Not, not with him, comes, anyway. Not when it comes to me. <laughs> oh, no. You're very much... Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Cutthroat. Cutthroat. He yeah. organises. He doesn't judge. So. Ah, okay. Well, the organisation, I guess, is difficult enough. Yeah, it is. It's and the Georgia one, when is that? It's next, we leave next Monday for America. And is everybody going to be there, hurricane recovery and all uh, that? Yeah, it's okay. I think we got an email saying everything is okay. So, like, there was no big damages to the trees they were going to use and stuff like that. So. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, so it was good. So I don't think there's too many damages. So it's, it's the good. 25th, 26th, isn't it? Yeah. 25th, 26th of October? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so very soon. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I'm very glad you're training well here. That's This plantation, look at that. Those evening primroses are still blooming. There, scabias are blooming. And over here, oxide daisies are blooming. Look at that, big dandelion head blooming. So this oak tree has rocketed this year. It's only planted this year. It's gotten huge. It's so lovely watching things, trees explode at the latter part of the season. Lots of growing in them. That oak tree is surrounded by, that's a gilder rose and a gilder rose, a rowan, another gilder rose. They're all planted really close together, but that's for them to work it out themselves. So look at that hazel there and a cherry and a willow. And the climbers, tree surgeons, are gone for the day. Isn't that right? You good girl. Yeah. Okay, while they're eating, I'm going to collect some kindling. There's loads of kindling up under that tree.
dogs trying to help themselves with a little bit in the alpaca's meal. And then over here, they're all bedded on wood chip now. And then these are the two girls with the photosensitivity. That's um, Crystal and uh, Kestrel. So they're having their meal. I'd say they've got another good few weeks in here to get rid of their photosensitivity. Very annoying. But they've got lovely wood chip bedding and loads of hay and fresh water. The water is where you can see the hose pipe. So that's all of them. And then the boys are over here. Everybody having their evening meal. The boys finishing off their evening meal. Oh, somebody fell down. Uh, you're stuck underneath. There we go, you got up. Silly boy. Anyway, those are the lads. And my plantation, the frost knocked this stuff back, but uh, it'll come back next year. It's a kind of cat mint, which the pollinators love. Isn't that right, Maya? Yeah, yeah. Brindle, what are you doing? You being disgusting. Are you being disgusting? Yeah, you're licking your lips, so you've obviously been very disgusting. Hey, yeah, good boy. Okay, and time has been keeping me company this evening, feeding everybody and collecting kindling. She's very happy having her evening meal with the sheep. And now Paca. Inca, come on. Sun's going down. The leaves are falling. <laughs> 